Yo, 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 guys, Cage Give Me 201 here with a brand new series. Let's talk about sports. Where I think you could guess it, we talk about sports. Before the episode starts, please remember to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it and you think they will too. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be doing this all the time. Maybe more when there's big news in sports, and this week in sports has been crazy. So without further ado, let's talk about sports. First on the agenda, we have UFC 200. And with the sad news that John Jones has been taken out of UFC 200 for violating the UFC doping, uh, I guess, rule. I, uh, the, the, word is, is, the word isn't coming to me right now, but that's not important. John Jones has failed yet another drug test. And I am literally at a loss for words. John Jones is probably one of the most athletic people in the world. His body was made for the UFC. His body was made for combat sports. And, he, and his bad choices are, are ruining his career. They're literally ruining his career. Now, now the UFC hasn't said anything. If it has been a performing enhancing drug or if it's been a hard substance like he's done before, like cocaine and things like that. But this this is this is this is rough. This is rough, not only for him, but for the UFC fans, because we were really amped up for this fight. We really wanted to see John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. Now, whether you're a John Jones fan or a DC fan. Either way, this fight was going to be amazing. And now we've been robbed from this magnificent fight, which is which sucks, man. It really fucking sucks. Excuse my language. But damn, man. Now John Jones has released a state a statement apologizing and saying that he has no idea what the drug committee has found. And I hope this is true. I hope that there has been a mistake and there's nothing in his blood, then that, that would be a shame on the committee. But this fight was the biggest fight on that card. Now the card is stacked as it is, and I'll get onto in to, I'll get onto that card later, but John Jones, I was I'm a John Jones supporter for this fight. I'm not gonna say I'm his diehard fan, because I'm not, I won't lie. But I was rooting for John Jones to come back in this fight simply because Daniel Cormier, ever since he's won that belt, has been talking smack about John Jones. Yet, when he fought John Jones, he lost. So I don't know where this, this confidence in Daniel Cormier is coming from. Let alone, yes, in that fight, it did come that his blood tested positive for... I believe it was cocaine. But nonetheless, you didn't beat him, Daniel. Now, I'm really hoping that his test comes back that it, it wasn't something that would get John Jones suspended again. Because I know we are all who are fight fans looking forward to seeing John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. And to see this fight being taken out of UFC 200 at the pretty much the last possible minute that really really sucks that really hits uh, a fight fans heart you know now talking about UFC 200 because of the fight being pulled now it is Brock Lesnar versus Mark Hunt in the main event for UFC 200 and this is a great thing for Brock Lesnar, but is it a great thing for us fans? And I don't think it is. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a Brock Lesnar fan. Ever since he got into the UFC, I have been a Brock Lesnar fan because of my childhood and loving him while he was in the WWE. But he's been gone for a while. This is his first fight back against a very, very good Mark Hunt. Very good. And I just don't see this 
ending too good for him. I honestly don't. And the fact of the matter is that now the main event is a non-title main event. When there are two other title fights. There's Frankie Edgar versus Jose Aldo for the interim belt. And there is Misha Tate versus Amanda Nunez. And they decided neither of them are, are main event material. Which is mind boggling. Two other championships fights. If DC and Jones wouldn't have been taken out. That would have been three championship fights. Obviously Jones and DC being the main event. And yet now that it's gone. The two other championship fights are still on the back burner. Which is, in my opinion, wrong. If anything, move up Frankie Edgar, Jose Aldo. Because that's going to be an entertaining fight. I feel it. I'm backing Frankie Edgar because I am from New Jersey. I got to represent Jersey. But to see Brock Lesnar and Mark Hunt's fight, main event UFC 200, that just doesn't seem right. It just does not seem right. But, hey, I don't run the UFC. I never will. They make the choices, and they have decided that this is going to be the main event. But, Dana White, during the press conference where he said, John Jones, Daniel Cormier has been pulled, he did say it was possible that Cormier can still fight last minute. He said if there was somebody out there willing to fight him last minute, they can make it happen. He said stranger things have happened. And I believe him. I, I believe him. But now going on to NBA. The NBA this week has been bananas. Bananas. Obviously, the biggest news in the NBA this week is Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors? Now, I... I do not like Golden State. I really don't. And it's not so much that I don't like the team. It's I don't like the people coming out of the woodwork saying that they're Golden State fans. These bandwagon jumpers have put such a sour taste in my mouth towards the Golden State Warriors. And it's bad. But that's besides the point. Kevin Durant is now a Golden State Warrior. I strict, I 100% I believe that this move is simply for that championship ring. And this was the easiest move to accomplish that. Was it a good move? Ah, that that's the thing. See, I I don't have a right to say if it was a good move or not because I'm not Kevin Durant. This is probably what he thought was the best move for him because regardless, he was leaving the Thunder. Regardless. He might have stayed an extra year until Russell Westbrook was a free agent and they both would have left, but I see that I see that he would have left regardless. But for him to sign with the Golden State Warriors, oof. I mean, that was the team that beat you in the Western Conference Finals when you had a 3-1 lead. But hey, man, it, I guess I guess it's true what you what they say. If you can't beat them, you join them, and that's exactly what Kevin Durant did. So this 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 is gonna be a crazy team, and I could just see the bandwagon jumpers now. You get me? It's like wow. These ban if the bandwagon wasn't big enough before, Jesus. Jesus. And let me make one thing clear. When NBA 2K17 comes out, that team is banned from being used in my household. Not a soul will use that team. That is just unfair. And I will not stand for it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. In other NBA news, Dwayne Wade has signed with the Chicago Bulls. This is great for me because I am a Chicago fan. They are the team that I support. They are the team that I love. However, this move did not need to be made. Miami Heat have royally screwed themselves with their franchise player. 
Dwayne Wade should not have been able to leave. I don't understand why Miami will not pay the man. He is your franchise. He has helped you win three championship rings. Yet you do not pay the man. When Chris Bosh, LeBron James, and Dwayne Wade made the big three, he took a pay cut. He took a pay cut so, so that LeBron and Chris Bosh could get paid more. And now that they're... Now that LeBron is gone, you still won't pay the man. This does not make sense to me. This does not make sense. Chicago offered him $7 million more than what Miami were offering. Now, yes, $7 million is a lot of money. But when you think about professional sports contracts, that's not that much. Miami could have paid that to make him stay. I just don't understand why they are not fighting for him when he has done so much for them he loves miami miami loves Dwayne wade when the big three was there in miami's eyes obviously he was the best he was the one that they cheered for the most Dwayne wade is a savage and for him to leave that's on miami miami fucked that up Big time. Big, 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 big time. And it's... Their loss is our game. Chicago is his home. You know, that's where he's from. That area. And I am so happy that we got him. Especially after the loss of Derrick Rose, Joe Kim Noah, and Pau Gasol. We lost three big players. Obviously, you know, Derrick Rose isn't the most stable player I guess you would say he's very injury prone Joakim Noah has definitely been on a decline Pau Gasol in my opinion has still been good but to lose all three that's that's that was a tough tough hit but now we got Rajon Rondo we got Robin Lopez who I'm not thrilled about we got Dwayne Wade and of course we have Jimmy Butler I think Jimmy Butler, especially with Dwayne Wade, they are ready to do damage. They are ready to do damage. I just think we need a a big man to to have that 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 good that good solid team. And and it's it's sad to see Dwayne Wade being mistreated by his team, especially when average players and I know you guys, if you follow basketball, have heard of this. When average players like Michael Conley can get a $153 million NBA contract. This guy is the most average basketball player in my opinion. He is a very good basketball player, but very, very average. And he gets $153 million? I don't know what he did. I don't know what he said. I don't know if he threatened the owner of the team saying, Hey, I know where you live. You are going to pay me. He must have did some voodoo shit to where there were like $153 million. You know what? That sounds reasonable. You're worth it, Michael Conley. Because in my opinion, he is nowhere near 153 million. No way. Not a chance. Not a chance. What were they thinking offering him 153 million? Whoa. What, that's all I have to say is, is, is whoa. In other NBA news, the Knicks tape is what they're called they're getting quite the buzz with the signing of derrick rose and joe came noah right joe came went there i believe so yeah they have carmelo anthony they they're making some moves they're making some moves we're just gonna have to wait and see to see how the new york knicks do you know they're very close to where i live so let's see if i could get some overpriced nosebleed seats but i would love to see how they do 
not a Knicks fan, but but with the moves they're making, I'm 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 willing to see what they got. And the final story of today is Lionel Messi. He got sentenced to 20 month, 21 months in prison. Now, they say he might not serve it. I don't think so either because, you know, he's a professional soccer player and he is the pride of Argentina. He is the star of Barcelona. So I agree with when, with when they say he is not going to serve that 21 months. I believe it. But the thing is, his father is also in that whole debacle. And I don't know about player families if they get the same like immunity that the player gets but depending uh his father might not uh, serve that time either but it, it's crazy of all people Lionel Messi now I'm not a Messi guy I am not I am a Ronaldo fan through and through Ronaldo till the day I die I will always say he is better than Messi but I feel for Messi you know you know he is really in the public eye in the world of soccer like or football however you you like to go about it but to see that uh that he could potentially be going to jail that's crazy that's crazy because you never see you never want to see a player of his caliber go down a slippery slope because i hate going back to it but look at john jones top of his career made a lot of bad decisions and now he keeps making bad decisions and you know he could be effing it up his whole life but yeah, this week in sports has been freaking crazy. But that's all for let's talk about sports, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to smack that like button, subscribe if you do, and share the video if you enjoyed it, and share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. But until next time, I've been Cage Gaming Tool One. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Let's Talk About Sports, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Oh, and by the way. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me get your take of what's going on in sports. If there is something I missed, if there's something else in a different sport that I know nothing about that I that I could learn something from, please let me know in the comments. I, I, I love sports. I love all kinds of sports, whether it's martial arts, boxing, basketball, football, baseball, soccer. The Olympics are coming up, which is freaking amazing. They, they're, they're having a whole bunch of qualifiers. The Euros are going on right now. Let me know, especially the Euros. Portugal beat Wales, and today is France versus Germany. Probably by the time this is uploaded, the game will be done, but I am shooting it while it's, it's happening. But yeah, let me know in the comments what what's going on in the sports world if I miss anything. But yeah, guys, until later, I'll see you later. I love you guys. Peace.